Pepper and George are very excited because tonight they are putting on a special music concert for their family. Tonight's the big night. I can't wait to see you and George play your instruments for everyone. How many people are going to be watching? Well, there's Mummy, Grandma and Grandpa and your teacher, Madam Gazelle. Daddy, that sounds like a lot of people. What if I make a mistake and everyone laughs at me? No one's going to laugh at you, Peppa. And besides, you've been practising really hard. I know, but I don't think I'm ready. Well, why don't we have a dress rehearsal? What's a dress rehearsal? We can pretend we're doing the concert for real, so that when tonight comes, it won't feel so scary. That might work! Everybody ready? Drum, 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 drum! Ready! Okay, let's go! Three, two, one... <laughs> Hooray! We did it! Very good. I'm sure you'll get a big round of applause at the end. Now we can make the room look like a real concert hall. First, we'll need somewhere for people to sit so they can see you playing. Hmm, how about the sofa? Yes, that'll do nicely. Let's move it in front of the stage. Bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy drum, bouncy! <laughs> Come on, George. I can't move the sofa with you bouncing on it. <laughs> Goodness, it's very heavy. A little to the left. A little to the right. A little more. There! Perfect! Phew! Now, we'll need some light so people can see you properly. Hmm, maybe we can use some lamps. That'll look very nice. Can you see me? Yes, Peppa. You look brilliant. I'm going to go and get dressed. The audience will be here soon. This is all very exciting. Yes, the stage looks wonderful. Everybody put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Peppa and George. Ready, Peppa? Ready. Okay. One, two, three. Hey! What happened to the lights? I think there must have been a power cut. How are we going to play if we can't see? Don't worry, Pepper and George. It was a dark walk over here, so we all brought torches. Wow! This feels just like a real concert now. Ready, everybody? One, two, three. Excellent, Pepper and George. Now we have to take a bow. <laughs> Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen. Well, Peppa, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. 
I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome isn't a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. <laughs> This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> That sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know, maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea, thank you. Okay, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect, now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Peppa, one for me, and one for Daddy Pig. Yum, they look delicious. Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Peppa. First, we have to bake them. Yummy, they smell scrumptious. Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy, we made cookies, one for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! No, George! <gasps> oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> I'm so excited for playgroup today. I'm going to make the prettiest mask ever. I can't wait to see it, Peppa. Madam Gazelle. I hope she gets in soon so we can make our glittery masks today. She must be running late. Maybe she's trying to find art supplies for our lesson today, Peppa. Don't worry, everyone. We can make our masks ourselves. We have a lot of art supplies already. 
We'll wait here with you all until Madame Gazelle arrives. Yes, and I think it's a lovely idea to get started and show Madame Gazelle the lovely masks you make. I have an idea. We just need to pretend that Madame Gazelle is here with us. Great idea, Mandy! <laughs> right, everybody, who's ready to make some glittery masks? I didn't expect it to come to life! <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy! It's only me! Let's make Madame Gazelle proud! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, class! <clears throat> Let's see what lovely creations you've all come up with in today's Arts and Crafts lesson. Great job, everyone. Wouldn't it be nice to make Madame Gazelle a mask too? Yes, Mummy! But what sort of mask would Madame Gazelle like? I have an idea. I think I know what kind of mask Madame Gazelle would like. Because it's Mummy Pig's favourite kind. Ho, ho, ho! I'm so sorry I'm late, everyone. I was... My goodness, you've all made your masks and they're lovely. I'm so proud of you all. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. We remembered everything you taught us. Besides, I, Madame Gazelle, have been here the whole time. Ha ha ha! Madame Gazelle, we thought about what sort of mask you might like. That's right. Could you please close your eyes? My goodness! Yes, okay, Susie. <laughs> Ooh! Heaven! You can relax, Madame Gazelle. You have been rushing around all morning. Besides, we have you here all the time now. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Today, Mummy Pig is doing a big spring clean of the kitchen. <laughs> one sponge, one brew. I'm ready for the big clean. <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> I can't play with you right now, George. Sorry. We'll play with George, Mummy. It just rained and there are muddy puddles to jump in outside. OK, Peppa, but don't forget to wear your... Boots! Boots! <laughs> and please take off your muddy boots when you come back inside. <laughs> uh oh, maybe we should go inside before it starts to rain too much. Good idea! Let's play hide and seek around the house. But not in the kitchen, to let Mummy clean. <laughs> Wants to count. <laughs> okay, George, 
Count to ten. <laughs> oh. That was quick, George. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Those over there aren't my footprints. <gasps> You're so good, George. Oh, no. Mummy isn't going to be very happy. What are we going to do? Mummy is using the broom and sponge in the kitchen. And we need to clean this mess quickly before she notices. <laughs> Maybe we can find other things to clean with around the house. Good idea, Susie. Let's look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. <gasps> oh. uh. All right, George. You wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. Now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <gasps> oh no! What's going on in here? Oh! We're sorry, Mummy. We forgot to take our shoes off like you said and try to clean all the footprints. But George decided to clean in his own way. It's okay, Pepper. This is a good opportunity to learn some cleaning techniques. Let's do this together. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done, team. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> you did a really good job cleaning in the kitchen, Mummy. <laughs> cleaning is easy with the right tools. Wait a minute, you were cleaning with the sponge and the broom earlier but we found them in the living room and in mine and George's bedroom. You hid them, Mummy. <laughs> You're not the only one who likes to play hide and seek. <gasps> <laughs> My goodness! Mummy, are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs! Yes, Peppa. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right! Peppa, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> this sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh, ho! Thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh, no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. 
everyone. Thank you. But Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr. Pig? Ho, ho. We should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. The guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Pepper? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me! Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, -ho! you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. to wear all this sun cream, Mummy. Yes, Peppa. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right. Who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Ahem. <clears throat> um... Well, now I have. It's time for our adventure at the beach. George! <laughs> oh, welcome to your very own castle, Prince George and Princess Pepper. Wow! <laughs> George, sandcastles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own. This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry, I have just the thing to help cool us down. Who fancies cooling down in the paddling pool? Me! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> this is so yummy. Ho oh, ho, it certainly is hot. <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you. You're bright red. <laughs> Mummy, why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it. Oh, 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 oh uh, be careful. Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. <laughs> and then the T-Rex came, scaring everyone! Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right! It's called a motorhome! And we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure! Yeah! yeah! This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Yeah! Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Pepper. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motorhome. Follow me. This is your bedroom. OK, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Pepper. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> OK, George, how about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! Grrr! I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, 
they look like me. You're right, Peppa. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly Daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? Was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> Die. So. to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Peppa. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <sniffs> Balloons and yoghurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it like this. <coughs> or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Now try it. The water makes the bottle sound different. That's right, Susie. You can also blow across the bottle tops to get a sound. <laughs> You're making music! Wow! So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountaintops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very 
very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvelous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it. Marvelous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. Ah. You're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra. Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. My daddy can shake, rattle and bang. <laughs> <laughs>
Children, Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here. Aha! Thank you, Super Potato. Remember, kids, always eat your five a day. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And now we have a very special guest. Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything! What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty! Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practising too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle says I have to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> bravo! Bravo! Oh. Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Pepper. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> and now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bet and ball, Pepper. Okay. Just try your best. Ooh. 
Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <laughs> Catch the ball. I'll get it. Let me get, get the it. ball. Hooray. That's one point. The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. I'll get it. It's going the other way. Round again. Get the ball. I'm scoring lots of points. Get it. Here it comes. Catch the ball. <laughs> Did you catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win. I win. I am the champion. <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray. Hooray. I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Hooray! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to, to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, Mr. Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is, which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? <laughs> a car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me! me, 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 me. All the children are making beautiful <laughs> butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes! But we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No! What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar! That's right! First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. Me too! I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! We are butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro! <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. Yes, we're all butterflies. 
butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap, flap as we flutter by. Peppa <laughs> loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall, so you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh. I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, While Pepper three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <coughs> Let's play ball. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Catch, Peppa. <coughs> The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down. No! no! I can get it with my trunk. Ugh, no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. It is almost Halloween, children, and we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh! Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes! yes. I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. Uh, I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect Pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Pepper. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. <laughs> This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> and we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. <laughs> the pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. That was loud! That is the sound of Big Ben telling us 
just the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <coughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> The bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone! <laughs> Us is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we have a new pupil. Hello, I'm Molly Moore. <laughs> I'm sure you will make her feel very welcome. Hello, Molly. Peppa and Rebecca, will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Molly, have you ever played in a sand pit? It's good for building sand castles and digging. Do you mean like this? Wow! You're good at digging! Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. Home time, Rebecca! <laughs> Molly! Here is Mrs Mole. Hello, Mummy. Can my new friend Peppa come back to our house to play? Of course she can. Hello, Daddy! <laughs> can I go and play with my new friend Molly Mole? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'll pick you up later. Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> this is my house. But this is Rebecca's house. Rebecca Rabbit <laughs> lives inside the hill. Hello again. Hello, Rebecca. Molly is my new neighbour. But where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Squeak. Come and see. <laughs> Moles live deep underground Our house is not finished yet My daddy is still building it Ah! Oh. Here is Mr Mole He is very good at digging How do you like your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy <laughs> This is my new friend Peppa Hello, Mr Mole <laughs> Delighted to meet you Daddy Pig has come to pick up Peppa. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. Oh, the rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four seven six eight five nine? It's George's Happy Mrs Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh. But he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. 